Sales Babble is sponsored by Wingman, your source for actionable sales intelligence. This is the Sales Babble Podcast, episode 426, How to Look Good Selling by Not Looking Good. Welcome to Sales Babble, the podcast that shares selling secrets for non-sellers. And now your host, Pat Helmers. Hello, sales babblers. This is Pat Helmers. And today we investigate the struggle of being successful at sales, while at the same time, our ego gets in the way. Too often we have concerns about being embarrassed, saying something stupid, and being called out as a pushy seller. This is the thing. When we're more concerned about how we look, we stop focusing on helping customers. So today we're going to share advice on how to address these challenges of fear and success and instead focus on how the best thing we can do to look after ourselves is to look after others. I've been selling in the manufacturing sector this year and the number one challenge I keep hearing is staffing. It's tough for businesses to find new hires and then it takes a serious investment to get them trained and productive. Is that the same for you? This is where our sponsor, Wingman, comes in. With Wingman, you can quickly accelerate the onboarding of reps by at least 50%. Secondly, it gives sales managers a way to roll out a repeatable sales coaching system. Plus, the managers can keep on top of the new staff opportunities and take action to prevent at-risk deals from slipping through the cracks. Why not give this a try? Go to trywingman.com slash salesbabble and get a free demo for a free trial today. Wingman, it's your source for actionable sales intelligence. Now, before we get to the chapter, I wonder if you could do me a favor. I'm doing a research study to better understand the interests of sales babblers and the selling challenges they face. I'll be using this data to improve the podcast because I'm 100% committed to raising your selling success. Go to salesbabble.com and start the survey. It's right there on the top. It'll only take two minutes, I promise, and it's 100% confidential. Thanks for helping me out, and I appreciate it. And now today's chapter, Fear and Success. Success is as dangerous as fear, both generating shame and laughter, the worry of looking stupid. Success and fear are phantoms that arise from the self. More concerned about how you look, the seller stops looking. And now today's story. It had been a month since Chris started cold calling to set up appointments for Pat. Chris's numbers were weak and, quite frankly, borderline unacceptable. Pat became concerned and at the end of the week asked Chris, I can see that you're not making a lot of dials, and when you do connect with your calls, they're very short. What's going on here? Well, said Chris, I'm just not comfortable calling people out of the blue. I'm trying. I hope you can see that but I hate to bother people. Personally, I dread getting robocalls. I just don't feel good about it. Pat nodded. I get what you're saying, but this is the thing. We're not doing what these robocalls are doing. What we're doing and what those robocalls are doing are two completely different things. We're only calling people we think we can help. We don't pitch without first listening nor do we call at odd hours. There's nothing to be ashamed of here. Instead of focusing on your fear, remember the anxiety they struggle with every day. Maybe we can help them overcome their business challenges and help them get a good night's rest. The only way we can help is to reach out and to ask. Keep dialing, and in time, the fear will fade. The author, Salman Rushdie, is quoted as saying, Shame is like everything else. 
live with it for long enough, and it becomes a part of the furniture. (laughs) Shame and guilt are founded on the belief that you're doing something wrong and that you should be punished for it. But you're not doing anything wrong here. It's just misplaced fear. Fear is common in all of us. And here's a good thing to think about. Fear is the seed of growth. Once we overcome our fears, they are forever behind us. So let me share an insight that has forever changed my view on sales. It's this. Prospective customers secretly hope that you have the solution to their problems. Sure, they're skeptical. That's understandable. They may appear gruff and guarded, but deep down, they would love, love, love more than anything to have you remove their pain and anxiety. It's tough running a business in a competitive market. Let's see what we can do to assuage some of that pain. Let's put this fear in the rearview mirror. To download a copy of this week's Tao Te Ching of Sales chapter, you can find it in the show notes at www.salesbabble.com. You can also find links to our sponsor, Wingman. Wingman is your source for actionable sales intelligence. Go to trywingman.com slash salesbabble and get a free demo today. Could you do me a quick favor? I'm doing a research study to better understand the interests of listeners and the challenges that they faced. I'm committed to raising the success of sales professionals, and your privacy is 100% confidential. In the show notes, there's a link to the research study. It'll only take two minutes, I promise. Thanks in advance. Thanks again for taking a moment to visit us today. Until next Tuesday, take care and have a highly successful and a profitable selling day. Thank you for listening to the Sales Babble Podcast. Find us at www.salesbabble.com. This is a production of Abenero Media.